Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it's time for us to do yet another challenge run here, and this time we're going to go with challenge number 26, I Rule. Oh wow, I didn't realize I only got like five challenge runs left. Then comes the real challenge of filling the post-it notes with every single character. Alright, so here's our seed right now. C, D, A, 8, 4, 4, Q, C. Looks like I start with both pieces of the key, the stepladder, a boomerang, trinity shield, and mom's knife. And apparently our goal is Mega Satan. Okay, I just noticed something. I rule is actually based on the word Hyrule from Legend of Zelda. So as you can see, I got the Hylian shield, also known as the trinity shield, the master sword, which is mom's knife, the boomerang, which is, well, just a, just a boomerang, and you find keys in Zelda. The step ladder is actually from Zelda 1. So they made some loose references to like classic Zelda. Which back then in classic Zelda it wasn't called a Master Sword, it was the Magic Sword. I don't think the Master Sword was even a thing at that time. And we got Curse of the Tower as well, so once we get hit, we're going to be causing a lot of bombs. And I don't know why I checked for a secret room there, because there was too many rocks in the way last time. So the boomerang is good for, like, snagging items from a distance. And it's also good for, like, stunning enemies. If you're lucky, you might actually kill the enemies with the boomerang. But we'll see. I think we should just make, like, a rare tradition. Like, if we find the item inside the treasure room, if there is an item room, we have to use that item room to beat the boss. Or use that item to defeat the boss, same as you would in Zelda. That would actually be a cool way to do things. So I'm guessing they give you both pieces of the key because you have to get to Mega Satan. And it's pretty hard to get to him without it. Unless you're lucky enough to get Dad's key. I'm beginning to wonder, because Get Out of Jail Free card functions like Dad's key to some extent, could you use a Get Out of Jail Free card to get to Mega Satan? I would like to test that at some point if we get the opportunity to do so. Also, I think our secret room could be right here, and I noticed there are no item rooms. That's scary, but at least we have a powerful weapon in Mom's Knife, and Trinity Shield will block projectiles heading our way. So I guess we'll have to put our money where our mouth is and face Famine. Okay, that was bad damage on my part there. But at least Curse of the Tower actually kicked in right away. And we get Ball of Bandages, which... Kind of functions like a fairy. I guess if Ball of Bandages was going, Hey! Hey! Listen! Hello! <laughs> so let's just navigate our way out of here. I That was a bit of a lame joke. So speaking of Zelda, I really cannot wait for Zelda U to come out. You know, when it eventually comes out for the Nintendo NX in 2047. <laughs> We barely got very little details as to what the game looks like. Like, we got some art style, but we don't know for sure if they're going to stick with it. Hopefully they do, because it looks pretty awesome. Some people did not like Skyward Sword. I kind of liked it. Some people probably complained because they were calibrating the controller upside down, and I'll admit I was one of those people. It was just weird that I was able to get it to work more often than others because my surface... Well, the armrest on my chair was pretty flat anyway. But Skyward Sword just, it required you to have like a little bit of precision with your arm movements and it wasn't perfect. But people can say Twilight Princess wasn't too perfect either. Maybe they thought it was too dark. But a lot of people like Twilight Princess for that exact same reason. And I don't really understand why we're getting a Twilight Princess HD because it was high enough graphics anyway for the time. But, that's just my two cents. Speaking of two cents, we're gonna get more than two cents. Wow! There was a dime and a nickel in that mix. Uh, yeah, we'll take Headless Baby. Even though, well, later on in the game it's gonna be useless, because most of the enemies can fly. So I guess we'll go into our shop here. I kinda look like Princess Zelda now. It's like, but Zelda was always the one holding the sword. No. Well, to be fair, maybe Zelda was the one holding the sword to save the Princess Link. <laughs> That'll rile some people up. 
Also, I could have used the Yara rune to get those consumables for free, but... You know, I should have used it when I got the money from Pageant Boy. Well, let's hold on to this Yara rune. I might find a better use for it. You know, just to justify my lack of opportunities before. I'm not the ultimate min-maxer, and people tend to complain a lot about that. It's like, you miss one opportunity, and people can sometimes complain a little too easily. I'm not saying my fan base is exactly like that. But I mean, everyone's gonna be a critic. That's just gonna happen in life. You just gotta learn that you can't please everyone, and some people are not gonna be pleased with anything you do, no matter what you do. So you might as well just do what you love to do. That's my two cents right there. Okay, that's so why I basically gave up four cents there, because I gave two cents a few minutes ago. By few, probably just a couple. Yeah, Mom's Knife is not going to be practical for some rooms, but it's good enough. Trinity Shield, I may barely get a chance to use, because I'd rather dodge anyway. Okay, Trinity Shield... Okay, it does work. There! Those bonies are no longer an issue. Unless they decide to flank me, then it becomes a problem. <laughs> Alright, can't forget that I got the ladder. And it's so easy to forget you have it. Because it just feels kind of pointless. Most times in late game, you get the chance to fly anyway, and the ladder is useless. Let's check this mob trap room. Eh, yeah, let's go for it. Bob's Rotten Head! Uh, don't think I want to give up the boomerang for it. I think I should make it my goal to keep the boomerang, unless we find something that's really worth giving up, giving it up for. And there's very few items that can make that happen. So I guess I'll just use Bob's Rotten Head here. And you know, completely miss, because I'm an idiot. But when was the last time Link fired Bob's Rotten Head or anything? Like, the closest he ever got to like lifting a head was probably when he was throwing those skulls in A Link to the Past. Just to see if there were any rupees in them. Well, I guess he did that in Wind Waker as well, and Twilight Princess, but that's besides the point. The point is, you probably noticed it in, in A Link to the Past first, when you went to the Dark World. Back then, I didn't even think there were skulls. But now I know. But, oh well, it is what it is. Definitely check our shopping. You know what, Mom's Knife with Pinky Eye may not be bad. May not be great, but may not be bad either. Blank card could actually be worth giving up the Boomerang for. Like, Blank card Yara Rune would be amazing. Huh. I gotta get used to using both Trinity Shield and Mom's Knife in conjunction with one another. Skinny on Mushroom, it might lower my damage, but let's try it. It'll give me a little bit more range with Mom's Knife. At least I'm not taking soy milk. That's that's apparently a very bad thing to get with a knife. Uh, yeah, we can swing that our way. Just gotta be very gingerly. Only this time we have a soul. Sorry to that all you redheads with freckles. Actually, some of them are actually quite hot. Okay, let's just take the blank card. We'll call it a day. We'll just use Yara right here. Then we snag all this stuff for free. And we can probably just do it again. Why not? Should have grabbed the battery first. Oh my god. Can I do this? Oh, okay. I think we just broke the game. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, yeah, this is gonna get out of control. We're gonna max out our soul hearts. We're gonna max out our bombs, pretty much. It's gonna be hard to tell where everything is now. So, we are kind of set for the rest of the game when it comes to consumables. In every sense of the word. This is kind of broken right now, huh? Okay, the only thing we did not multiply, of course, is our money. Oh, man, if that shopkeeper was able to blow up coins, we would have been set from, with that department as well. Oh, God, that was a wasted opportunity. So we can just, like, multiply lots of batteries here ad infinitum. 
Oh, this is a really good idea. We're just gonna wait till Tyrone decides, no, you can't do that with item rooms anymore. Or shops anymore. Could have done that here, too, but you know what? I don't really need that many black hearts. I've probably got the maximum amount anyway. No, black hearts will replace soul hearts automatically because they're better. So I could have swung that my way. Wow, you just got yourself poked hard. Alright, so we'll take blue cap. I feel good about that. Okay, remember, Trinity Shield cannot block Krampus's brimstone wave. There we go. Lump of coal is awesome. Ugh, this is getting kind of ridiculous with all the stuff we're able to do. Okay, yeah, we can do this. So, we just, like, set ourselves up financially. If you get a battery and a coin together, you can keep duplicating it. This blank card Yera is just so broken. There will come a time when that gets fixed. Oh my god. What if we get a whole bunch of, uh, lock-ups this way? This is the Chris Houlihan room, everyone! Haha! <laughs> I made another Zelda reference. This is insane. Okay, none of those gave me a lock off. That's disappointing to say the very least. Oh my god. Can you imagine if you did this in a daily run or something? Blank card Yera. And then you would just keep accumulating so many lock ups. Or accumulating so many points. Because look, you get points for every cent that you pick up. This is kind of broken. I love this! Oh my god, if we get money equals power, enemies are just gonna get shrekt. So all we have to do is, is just find a shop with a battery, and then we're just set. And I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me! Alright. I gotta remember, you have to rely on shots because there are no item rooms in this challenge run. It's not disappointing to say the very least, but you can't always get what you want. Looks like the Master Sword just changed a very dark color by way of Lump of Coal. Okay, I'm not doing a lot of damage anymore. I think it's because I picked Skinny on Mushroom, and that might have been a bad haul for us. But at the end of the day, we made our choice, so... We made our bed, we're gonna lie in it. So let's take on our boss. Yeah, it's the Forsaken. It's basically that skeletal version of the Haunt. I can't say dead version of the Haunt, because it's a ghost, so it's already dead. But it's deader. Latchkey is alright with me! Well, we'll just Yara this, so I can get four keys instead of two. And I'll still get that luck upgrade. Alright, so we should look for our shop first, before we move on to the next floor. I mean, we practically just maximize our chance for success, because whatever we can buy in the shop, if there's anything to buy in the shop, we can just grab. If it's a new item, it's gonna suck, because I won't be able to, well, add it to my collection. But it's there. Another th great thing to get would probably be 9-volt. Then we can use that much faster. The car battery might also be great because you might get two uses out of it instead of just one. I think that's how it works. Uh oh, sorry, Demon Judgment. That kind of worked against me there. I think it's only certain pennies that will give you a luck up. And if you like multiply like non lucky pennies, you're just gonna get non lucky pennies still. I don't think one of them is just going to randomly be a lockup. That would have been way too broken if that was the case. So it might be worth our wall just a year a bunch of pennies and see how many of them will be lockups if we can get a battery in there. Okay, this is not a really good room there. Oh, okay. There's less cover for them. So that kind of worked out for the best.
Like, what does this really do for me? Nothing. I don't know if that increases your devil chance just by making it dark. Probably doesn't. But, oh well. I think our shop is over this way. I mean, it's the only place we haven't looked yet. And lo and behold, I found almost every single dead end before I was going for what I was looking for. Isn't that how it always goes? There we go. So far, so good. We're pretty much set for the rest of the game. Like, I said it before and I say it again. We are set. Unless you keep taking constant damage, which is what's happening here. And we can check our secret room and... I think we should save our Yara room for later. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, part of me wants to Yara this. We'll come back to that. If the shop is there, then we'll probably year the shop instead if it's got a battery for sale. Okay, I, good to know I won't be able to grab all this stuff by accident. Thank you, Mega Fatty. You actually did me a service. Alright, is there a shop over here? Yeah, it is. But, oh, that's a double key room. Okay, I would definitely love to... Get myself a damage up after that skinny on mushroom pickup that has not paid dividends. Uh, little larva. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I don't know exactly what it will do for me, but. I mean, Pinky Eye has had its time. Oh god. Oh, I thought I was stuck. Never mind, I'll get those two soul hearts back. And in here. Ooh. We can do this all over again. Alright, let's see if we can get some money from this corpse. Nope, we just get spiders. Yara. Yara. Okay, what's this pill? Locked down! Oh god, I don't want to, like, get that. Health up, good. And... That there's a tears up. Okay, since that's going to be a tears up, we want to be able to keep getting this. What's this tarot card, anyway? High Priestess. Okay, I guess they're all going to be High Priestess. Fair enough. Yara. 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 Andale, andale, andale. Yara, Yara! Uh oh! <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. This is a good way to like milk the kind of pills that you want. Uh, oh! I kind of fucked that up there. I was supposed to do that. So now I kind of have to buy the battery. So if I can. Alright, so I think we're just going to be maxing our tiers at this point. Tears up. Don't get the luck down. If I had PhD, this would have been so great. No. Get the tiers up. Thank you. Tears up. Okay, I want to leave with the Yara rune. Okay, I think that's good enough. Our tier stat's not max, but I don't really think it needs to. I think we're just going to go. Almost bungled up that strategy, but oh well. We still got plenty of tears ups as a result. Now, if only that could have been like a luck up or something, that would have been so amazing. Or balls of steel. Or pretty fly. Then we'd be set. That is so crazy. Imagine like doing this in Greed Mode. Get blank card Yera. Then green mode is not going to be an issue. If you just manage to get like the right items in there. Constantly getting your money back and then you can just re-roll as many times as you want. Until you get what you really need. And you might be able to like complete your item collection that way. Especially if you get chaos. 
Because then everything shows up in the item pool. That's one thing I noticed about Chaos. We were just getting stuff in Deals of the Devil and Deals of the Angel that otherwise would have been in different places. I never noticed that until recently. Come on, let me get up there. That'll be another good item to have, like little charger, like or charge baby. You know that little baby battery there that would constantly drop little batteries for you. That would be very good for us, because then you'll be able to utilize this blank card Yara rune more often. What are we going to get to first, our boss or the shop? I'd say we'll be getting to the boss first again. Wouldn't surprise me to say the very least, but it is what it is. Also, I wouldn't be privy to find Small Rock or anything. I'm a bit disappointed that hasn't showed up yet, but then again, we haven't found a lot of Tinted Rocks. Or maybe I've just been missing them. Which is possible, because I'm human. I can make the same mistakes that some people do. Ah, oh, it's Brownie. Okay, Brownie kind of sucks to fight. But Curse of the Tower is just going to wreck him. Placenta is okay, I guess. The Mark is also pretty good. Ghost Baby is not. Sorry, there's just not enough love for Ghost Baby. Now, if I had Box of Friends, maybe Ghost Baby. But let's face it, even if I had Box of Friends, Ghost Baby would probably be on that low list of familiars I'd like to use. Oh, come on, Curse of the Maze. You're really starting to annoy me. D dude I'm not going to apologize for what I said. I stand by what I said about Curse of the Maze. It's just bad. Oh, God. Ugh. The worst part is if you get hit by the troll bombs. And then you get hit by more troll bunks, they just keep coming. This with Pyromaniac would be a devastating combo, don't get me wrong. But it's pointless if you don't have it. Oh, God, dude, really? Learn to chill. Let me get into our second secret room. Uh, I really could use that black card, don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to blank card Yara yet, because we're right next to the shop. Okay, this will actually be pretty good. Yara. Now we got like an infinite supply of keys. That's a locked down pill. You know what? Let's just buy it. And then we'll just put it down. So that we never have to deal with it ever again. And, you know, we'll just put this over here, too, so this doesn't get multiplied. Wait. I can probably, like, multiply trinkets. So I should probably... Oh, my God. I should probably put this one down, and then we'll multiply that. Well, first we should buy the piggy bank, so that was one less thing in the way. Placebo may not be bad, but let's face it. We'd rather blank card Yera. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to multiply trinkets. Guess I can't be surprised by that, to say the least. Okay, this is gonna get fast and furious right now. From a key standpoint, we're doing more than okay. Oh my god, thank you! Head of the Keeper? <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is good. I see no reason to take anything else. But I guess we should, you know, just in case, get more keys. Oh, no, no, I, I don't want this. So everything I stab with Mom's knife might turn into pennies? Oh, this is getting beyond broken right now. Oh, apparently all this stuff got shifted back here. That's Curse of the Maze being weird. 
Alright, I guess it's down to the next floor. I'll try not to abuse this too much, because I bet you Greed's going to be in our next shop anyway. It's just a matter of time, guys. So let's enjoy the ride while it lasts. Oh, thank you. I'll patch things back up. Huh. Oh yeah, because I got piggy bank, I'll be dropping some money whenever I get hit anyway. So I'll be dropping money and troll bombs. This is going to be a weird run. I don't remember Zelda being like this. I remember it being a little more fun. Oh god. This is just out of control, like... The, the absurdity is real. Okay, it looks like I... Like maybe Head of the Keeper and Mom's Knife don't work well together. Because I haven't been able to get a single penny out of this. Oh, this is also Curse of the Maze. I was just wondering, did we get Curse of the Maze again? And we did. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Uh, now apparently Link can fly without using a loft wing. I'm happy for that. <laughs> Somebody up there really likes me to, to make this so easy. Oh my goodness, what has happened? I'm not going to bother to play that. That'll just be a big waste of time. Oh, that was bad. Oh, you're not dead yet? Okay, now you are. Sure, why not? Because, you know, we haven't already gone crazy enough as is. I'm still holding out all hope that I can get that one item that will save us against Mega Satan. Because using Mom's Knife against Mega Satan is not really a lock for victory. You'd still have to get up close and personal with like a ton of waves of enemies. Uh, Red Candle is not that bad either. What's this tarot card then? The Magician. Eh, it's not worth it. Eh, this is not worth it either. So, I think we're just gonna leave. Like, the gravy train has ended, guys. It had to end at some point. So you're thinking, no, Bongo, just keep it going. It's actually more fun to see you have so much fun breaking blank card Yara Rune, even though you probably could have done that at Rebirth anyway. Yeah, I know, that's true, but, you know, I don't want this video to be way too long when we got a challenge run to beat. And God knows how long it's going to take for me to beat Mega Satan. Now, if I can find myself a Perthrow Rune, then we'll be in business. I'll be going back to that shop for sure. But I'm not going to hold my breath for it. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not going to boss rush. I think that was pretty much a lock at this point. Oh, here we go! Explosions! That's not how the keeper kicking in. That was Piggy Bank giving me that money. Oh! There we go. I think out of all this, well, for shits and giggles, we'll just take the negative. And it doesn't really matter where we go. Because either way, we gotta get to Mega Satan. And he's found in pretty much both final chapters. Well, except for Hush. I don't think you'll find him in the Blue Womb. Which even then, we'll barely make that 30 minute mark. Which we're... You need, a, I think you need 30 minutes to actually get up the blue womb. Okay, that's pheromones, that's tears up, and this is... Balls of Steel! Alright, I feel good about that. I got Balls of Steel. That trinket I'm not really a fan of. I don't know why, I just don't like the cartridge. I think it only just gives you classic Isaac items. Granted, some of them are actually pretty good, or increases your, the likelihood of vintage Isaac items. Like the wafer, for instance, I would definitely want that. But what are the odds that we're even gonna get like a, a unique item drop anyway? There's no more item rooms. Oh, the black bean, thanks. That definitely makes my life feel so much better. 
Rawr! Oh my god, the gurglings when they're giant sounds so weird. Uh, you know what? I don't have a trinket, so we might as well take Butt Penny. The only reason I would take Butt Penny is if you don't have anything else. Alright, Conquest, you're going to go down pretty quickly. Just like that, see? You know what? Fuck it. Link does need his own Epona at some point. So, uh, Epona is red, not white, so we're going to stick with blank card. Even though that would make things a little bit more interesting, if I'm playing a, a challenge run based on Link for The Legend of Zelda, and one of my final items is a horse. A pony, no less. Like, Epona. But still, I just don't think it's going to be that valuable to us. Oh yeah, every time we pick up money, we fart. Oh, that's gonna make things really absurd with Piggy Bank. <coughs> it's like if we drop some money, like, right next to Mega Saiyan and do fart damage that way... I <sighs> can't believe I even utter that word, fart damage. That would make things look pretty interesting, to say the very least. Okay, why aren't these enemies just dying fast enough? Look like they barely even get hit. That is cray cray. And the tower, well, I already got a built in tower next to my life force, so I don't really need that. Yeah. You're holding the tower tarot card with blank card. And you got Curse of the Tower. What can go wrong other than, you know, basically bombing everything? Even yourself. And then it just keeps on going because you can't dodge all the troll bombs at once. Okay, we got a health uphill. Paralysis. Paralysis. Infested? Um, yeah. We're not going to take these pills because we can't really do much of them anyway. We already used up that one health up pill. I don't think we need that many health ups anyway. Like, what would I replace Yera with then? Maybe Devil or something? That might be the only logical choice. Yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, we can go fight Hush if we wanted to, but that'd be a death sentence in its own right. And you know, if we're going to be taking Abaddon, we might as well just take them all. Oh, now we become Cthulhu. We're Cthulink now. <laughs> and we're Dark Link. Yeah, we're Dark Link now. If you had tentacles. Showing up at the Water Temple. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. And just downright weird. Like, what have we done to this challenge run here? It has just gone absolutely crazy. Like, what have we done? We have taken this run and practically bastardized it. <laughs> and I could not be any happier. Wow, this was a lame-ass secret room. So I guess we should try going up. To get the Satan. Oh, that was some bad damage on my part. Oh, you created a host for me. Thanks. Oh, this is downright weird. You know, we should check that mob trap room, but I don't even think I'm going to go in there. No, uh, definitely not going in there. Oh, pride. Why did I do that? Okay. Blank card Joker. I think we'll definitely be going with that. Ah, Sacrificial Dagger, nine lives, ugh. You know what, if we already got, like, we're gone this crazy, we might as well just... No, I can't take Sacrificial Dagger. Um, oh, oh that was a very, very odd interaction right there. I was kind of frightened that I'd be trapped. 
I remember when Link went through walls, but that wasn't a link between worlds. Not in Afterbirth. What the fuck, man? Does this run continue to get more absurd by the hour? Or not not the hour, by the minute? What the hell is going on? That's causing this. It's Isaac, I'm telling you. This game just gets weirder and weirder. And you just can't turn away from it. Oh. Apparently I was able to get hit there. Come on, Soul Hearts, where are ya? Okay. Not really a fan of this room. I guess I'll just have to, like, bomb my way through here. Check what's in our top secret room. And Eternal Heart's actually pretty good. I don't want to, like, go all the way back to that Yura room, though. Just to get, like, two Eternal Hearts. Hardly worth it for me. Oh god, this is like Guinea Central right here. I think Trinity Shield could have blocked this. Yeah, I can block it. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Maybe you should wait till you know you're gonna have the enemy killed before you run in there. Okay, it's looking a little bit more nerve wracking. But we're we're gonna win somehow. Oh wow, I went way too fast. Gotta learn to slow it down, dude. <laughs> okay, well, we can't really do much in the dark room. Because we have to fight Mega Satan anyway. But if we can get some soul hearts here, we'd be set for life. Believe it or not, if you try to explore the dark room, I hear there's no boss room. Lock down. Oh, not gonna help me. Speed down! Well, I was going a bit too fast. So this might actually be good for us. Oh, this is definitely good for us. We'll use the Joker card. And you know what? Out of all this, ceremonial robes is definitely a must-have. Because it actually makes us more survivable. All right, here we go. This recurse of darkness is gonna make things weird. Okay, so basically this is trying to say that you're fighting Ganondorf, even though technically you're not. Like we gotta fight all the Harbingers next. With all this going on at once. Oh god. It's so hard to see. I got I gotta turn the gamma up. Was I only 120? Um 135 should be fine. If it's too bright for you, I apologize, but remember, I'm the one playing this game, so I have to rely on every advantage I could. Okay, war is just getting a little unpredictable for me. Okay, we should definitely be in a good position to win here. I can't see us losing right now. Like, we got way too much health to, like, throw this. So once we get to the second phase, I think start to get a little bit more absurd. It's too bad Champion Famine didn't drop a soul heart for me. I think the worst of it is Super Greed right there. But if he made me drop more money, then I'll, end, then I'll just end up farting it more. And every time I get hit, honestly, I'm going to create more bombs. Oh, apparently Trinity Shield did not save me there. Not happy by that, but it is what it is. Okay. Maybe I should have taken the Polaroid instead. Come on, dude. You gotta give up the ghost at some point. Okay, second phase. We got this. Okay, 
The bomb did nothing for me. Okay, I'm actually safe right here in this little chamber. Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. We did it! Challenge run defeated. Dun da da da! Poker chip. Huh. That sounds pretty interesting. Alright, I guess I'll stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll just do another run. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.